Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Um. Dragon. Not open yet. Final boss. Let's go with it. I'm sure it'll explain itself. These bits always used to terrify me because I always thought, what if Spyro got a bit tired and he wouldn't be able to land on, and if he fell, he'd just keep falling forever. I'm sure I've told you that already. Look at him. Look at you. Look at you. Wait, me. Oh. All right. Ah, who are you? Hang on a minute. Let's get all the loot first before we go chasing those idiots. He doesn't look as good as he did in the first cutscene. In fact, he doesn't look very much like he did in the first cutscene. Ah, I've just noticed where the key goes, look. Why would you be standing on a platform that requires a key to lower it? That's really weird. Why is he not bothered that some thief has nicked his key? Come here. My patience wears thin for such things. This is a really weird boss battle already. Am I even going to be fighting him? Or am I going to have to go to the next world to fight him? <sighs> Who knows. Well, a lot of people actually, because uh, I'm sure people have finished this game before before now. Burn! Yes, thank you. The key. And now we're going to ram the key into this platform, presumably. Do we? Uh. Alright then. Maybe not. No! Key door. That key's not big enough. Oh, look. It's like Doom. Key hunting. That's more like Wolfenstein with the style of the keys. Ow! Oh, what's this? This guy's got such a weird base. He won't be able to fit in most of these corridors. Stupid nasty. Obviously, got some nasty architects to come and architect for him. I mean, design for him. Whatever. This guy's a bit faster than the other one, isn't he? Ah, not fast enough, though. You're too slow. So now can I go and put the key into his stupid platform? Hello. There we are. Is he just scarpered? What a wimp. It just squashes. Right, I'm gonna go this way. There's nothing that way. I missed some little who cares. People with OCD, that's who. And uh, as well we know, if you've watched this channel before, um, <coughs> you'll probably know that I like making fun of people. And OCD people are uh, <laughs> notwithstanding. They do not avoid the wrath of uh, my making fun of people. Maybe I should not make fun of people who've got OCD because, you know, they can't do anything about it. But people can't do anything about being Scottish either. They make fun of Scottish people. Make fun of Yorkshire people as well. <laughs> and I'm from Yorkshire, so I must be offended by my sin. Ah, well. For God's sake! I've just got to chase him and burn him up the bum. Oh well, I got that loot now. OCD people should be happy. Rejoice! Wee! <laughs> Come on, Spyro, get a move on. Where's the supercharged pads when you need them? I'm a bit faster than him than him on straights, but it, unfortunately, this isn't a straight. It's just a big long. Ah! He stopped. He stopped and bopped me, and then ran off again. Come on. You coward, come back here. Oh no! I hope I don't have to do all that key business again. I have to do all the key business again. Yay. Well, at least I've got all the treasure now. I don't need to go and do all that again. Thank you. I was going to say, why not put a dragon there? What? I hit him then. Oh, 
Might as well go this way, see if we've missed anything. Oh, oh, oh. De -de -de -de. Shove the key in there. And then we we'll just do the chasing again. Could cut the corner sort of, but it's not very quick. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't help at all cutting the corner. You see, Spyro's not very good at going around corners, and these corners are incredibly tight. He's not exactly a racing car in Spyro. We imagine that a racing car game, but with dragons instead of cars. And Dragon could be a playable character. Got ya! Way. Oh, what's this? Oh, great. Please don't put me back to the start again. <sighs> <laughs> it's telling me that I've got to go and get them two gems and stop making fun of OCD people. Sorry. Oh, come on. <sighs> Why? <laughs> I cut him pretty much straight away last time. Uh, am I losing my edge? No, I'm not. Ha! Take that. <laughs> Seems like the running speed isn't, uh, what the hell? <laughs> oh dear. I think I may have run out of battery for my Xbox controller. And now the emulator's going all funny. Oh, what's happening? I'm back, I think. Somehow Fraps is still recording. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, there's a gem there. There we go. I'm sure I had some more batteries knocking around, but uh, I'm sure I had a full pack of them, but they seem to have gone missing. Hopefully nobody's nicked them. Nobody's cheersed them. That seems like something that would happen, actually, because my dad's always losing his batteries and then blaming us. So it seemed, it stands to reason that he would nick my batteries. There we go, I've got them now. I apologise to all people with OCD. Oh, come on. This guy... Is such a massacre. Why why aren't other dragons coming along and helping me to corner him? And then I can just go and flame his bum. You know, that that seems like a sensible solution to me. But no, they're all chilling in flipping Mallorca or wherever. Yeah, look at you. The trick is to get him when he stops. Ow. Right, this time I shouldn't fall into the uh, pizza topping. Is he going to try and zap me while I'm on these things? Are these ironing boards? Like the sort that you see in Tom and Jerry and that, when they're in the kitchen and they've got those iron ironing boards that fold out. Even though there's, n there's no point in using such a space-saving thing because the kitchen's usually miles long anyway. Hey, up, are they... Hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 that's not fair. Come on, you could at least give me a save point. <sighs> you know what the worst thing is? I can't remember how to do it. Oh, no, I think it's F1, actually, to do a save state. Would you mind terribly if I did a save state? Ow. Just to get past this nonsense each time. Because otherwise I'm just going to be cutting it anyway, so it doesn't make any difference to you. Ugh. It's probably quicker to go this way this time, isn't it? I think I've saved the state. It's not like the dolphin emulator where it tells you exactly what's happened. Oh well, we'll just have to find out. I think it's F1 to load it and F... No, F1 to save it and F2 to load it. That is the hope anyway. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if it'll load my Crash Bandicoot save state, but it should uh, adhere to the ROM that you're currently running, so there you go. <gasps> I'm using a ROM! Oh no, I do actually have the disc, don't worry. And it's ori an original, it's not a platinum. Or is it a platinum? I think it is a platinum, actually. Oh, I should have saved my state after hitting him. Great. Come on. 
Yes. Yes, and F1. There we go. Oh, is he dead? Damn, I missed what Spyro said. Oh well. Listen to it again. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go, everybody. Spyro the Dragon. The whole game done by me. Very poorly, I imagine. Look at all these amazing people who put this amazing game together. And then built on it massively in the next two games. From what I understand, the second game is awesome. I've never played it. So, I'll see you all when I start it. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. Uh, I suppose I should do a pseudo review of the game, this game. Uh, it's very good, and if I hadn't played the other two, uh, I would probably be much more impressed than I actually am. But, as it happens, I have played the other two, so it's a bit underwhelming. Oh well, I enjoyed it nonetheless. I thought it was fun. The uh, enemies were a bit copy and paste, and the music's a bit... I don't know, it's, it's kind of wishy-washy, and you've probably noticed I said wishy-washy music quite a lot in my videos. I think you... If you've played a lot of modern games, like a good example is Wolfenstein The New Order, that's got incredibly wishy-washy music compared to the original game. Anyway, <clears throat> that's a discussion for another day. Stuart Copeland is amazing. It does very good music, and the title theme for this game is fantastic as well. So, oh, Charles Zembius, you are a great man. And I'm sorry that your design has been squished and squashed and trampled upon by... Activision, is it? Who to Spyland Skylanders? Not Spylanders. That would be much cooler. Yeah. Anyway, I'm never going to be playing that. No, no, no. So, without further ado, I will end this video before I go on too much. Bye!